Dyson Nortagi, Kodala, Mr. President John Tenez, Kodon, Hicheta Hodzi, Todli. Oh, yeah, eh, JJ, do, Ade, KTN, Dyson Nortagi. Good evening, then he did me, though, let Kodotsaga Hodzondo. Ado con e bahoni negi e con the cousin tragi nast e zata, Jodil nick at Covid nineteen, Vilagana ketchigo, e kodo e yan hachin, hik e dan lenigi, a handal neshigi, at is a bahaya jado, ado kojitsaga hot zanje, and he get a des egi don, he and he must son, he chain in alaba, yada halianigi shake, don, he chat hazi, he chat. Hadat zih tole she kodo o ada ada hasiyan de shno kodo san hiche kushle tole ada di kodo shna bil Myron Lizer she got to se zuni shka nalgo agi e kodo hne hiche kodo ilne tole di the kosen tsagi nas eiza da COVID nineteen ada e kujdo tsaga hot zanje nihenat ani dan lenigi bil to. Beshmas and then Lenigida, Ado Kodon Handa, Neshigin Halchen, Hik Edan Lenigikun, a Kikre, Ado a hot a ya at the hand eight let or let preparedness team will yego e cut a nanesh badelia kodo, a din cut the the cousin Sragi nineteen, Yegi e binye. Ist at the net or let the no do, Kodoshi, Nabik yet hit do jo. Ah, uh, he just done a deal net all left. Kodo han net John Lego a ya, bad han net odo, or bad zin a lawyer, ya dust in the Nihikodo e da da huiliago do, Nihilda da trande kiss or do, and halchen which a yield here. Out a ya, ah, he's is a bad a huiliado left that he no hot a shik a no thin. Ah, do condo to the Zenchido, ah, Aboltra, the Nikido, Leshik, Enothini, Ade, that is not Zagi. Nihit so the Zen, ah, Anhe, Anhe, Nihe, the Hadlo, ah, Nihe, old Intonin, and Tinchi, ah, I de Bejo, Ebenachebe had the Anilne, Kodo, ah, the, ah, the Yengad Bazaj, Aja, so the Zen, bah, ah, Dath Engi, large, ah, pastors than Athenigi, do Aja, Yahana Kagi, Ishidokon. The more you be scanago, the more Yajigon, eh, what are in here, Joe Bainch Kedo, let out, so there's an Ara Kodol here, or in Lani here, the neck etchedo, so there's an Ndaos, Ingi Edo, Kodo, and here, Niger Joe Baini Kedo, let not so the Dolson do let you take at Saturday, though Sunday, weekend is Lingi Benachi, a hot hour. So the Zinigi de Nike do less. Aro Kojido, uh, the more, um, Biscanagon, Asla Jinda, and Nashon, uh, E Kodeshi, uh, Tsagaho Zand, um, so the Zimbaho Ato less. Binigo, so said, uh, old Kilon, the Ailey, Window Rock Veterans Part, a hot out, so the Zin Ho Ato less. So Nabiga, she and the Kedo less, she gained with Lini Judico, Covid nineteen, the the Kosin Skagi. Now, has the AIDS at the WD Nenigija A, Kujo, uh, Binia, uh, do, do, Yego, um, Konas Nita do left the deed no doubt, so the deeds in Asa, the deed less, uh, the Nebiki up a car, Ado, Kododo, only his bells and do less, uh, D, Nahanda, Nishigi, uh, Navajo Nation employees than Linigia, Edo Ado, uh, Yego Janda Craigi, the Yego Janda Craig. Dol left a bedi no hot a in a source which the Codelia, John Lego, Tron and the do a cord, a sladin hot soja, a bastio, and a da da huilia e o cojo, Covid nineteen, hot nigi a do yego could a nihik any na a ba a halid a geni ba bana hat in the door left, so hot a e, a nils hot a, so the ills no a shame hot a e. Benache Nas, uh, they need Kato, let's uh, she ain't not leaning so. Kodoshi, a ya, um, Kung, um, Kanda, Neshigi, Kung, um, Kodobich, Kushlet, or Lefty, Tseho, Soja, uh, uh, it's East, uh, Bahiaja, Hazaja, 
Dallas Ellsworth, uh, Director of Marketing, Asian Quado Bilaganic, Echadona, the Nick Echashin Quadoni, Ashana Edil, not the Leshik, no Slin, Asa, the Nick Echado Bilaganic, Echeso. Had I no Snido, a dada has yamdo, a neat, a Nihila, a Trada, Kisto, a D, a Kodoshi, um, Nantinish, Nikinich, a Kodi, Leto Les, so here la, here do Kodoshi, Dallas in each a hat sick dollar. Thank you, Mr. President. Good evening, everybody. As um, Mr. President mentioned, my name is Dallas Ellsworth. I am the Director of Marketing with Tedso Medical Center. I'm here with, also with um, another member of Tedso Medical Center and the Marketing Department, uh, Ms. Grace Tracy. She's going to um, be doing a little bit of the translation. And we're going to, um, if you're tuning in, um, you are currently listening to the COVID-19 form with the Navajo Nation. Um, our, lineup of panelists you just heard from President Jonathan Nez. We have the Judicial Chief of Justice, Joanne Jane, that will come on next, followed by uh, the Council Speaker, Navajo Nation Council Speaker, Seth Damon. And then we'll hear from the Department of, of Health um, and then from a, um, said Seoul Medical Center, um, just a little bit of what we were doing as a 638 facility. And then you'll hear from the Navajo Area Office Director. So right now we're gonna go ahead and um, hand it over uh, after uh, um, Grace kind of translates what I say we're going to hand it over to um, the Chief Justice. A den hilch it a wheat art or less. Dance on go hard at she. Need hands, need had no unredden had no bad as deeds on. O call quiet a ya. O bark when needs and do bear dark wheel your sheet ebony, coddle. Be bear nickel ish on it a deal knee. O call deeder nas knee. The cross and saggy is the art all. Bear watch it. Jo a de halet ao, ye see bet a dark wheel yard on it. Halet ao a be beat hadi car that did no she would ao by a dead kit on it. Nihil da wheel net on it. Ado halet ao and hit a dark wheel yard. Be nasco ye cut on it, did it? Nasly, nasly, Jo a yego. Skin so nal dogo, hood aba honet. A co are they she? An hind diedos kiddishi, coje and diedos kid or less. Quite a day, though, his jodish are deeder, as when he see cargy. President Nez needing each hard see. Ado Codo, the Justice Chief Joanne Jane, though, a don't each a hard see. A codibit and daily nishigid, a yard of quishinil, equa, Department of Health, Navajo Etiomology, Center for Direct Director, Ado Ramona Nez, Quaenanad Aya, Director Dr. Jill Jim, Navajo Department of Health, Coordinator David Nez, 638 CEO. <coughs> Now, Nation Area Office Director, so, okay, the President Nez, I could all, ah, a hundred and each a hard sea, okay, quite in here, Nichols has any gay air, I don't like a hot ah, bahanetta, I don't like a bit of any cargo bahanetta, Joe A day has your about a wheel yard or less, okay, any he not in late and had link or a day to quishy, but the whole net out of which, what other deeds are. Nichinal Kedibi. O co de an he de 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 cousin saggy. Nast eight art da his nenigi. An he quiet an de nebit his hot zogi. De quishi he he cry up and hap on date old eh. O co lego na nago da. Chan na nago art da da hot ya. Jo quaggy easy. Beta a hoyanigi a de bin binasha eighteen hitch da wheat ah. Yad eh? 
Chief Justice will ye gi a a large hashkaja na hat aje a na hat a a adash na nishish a. D a ya the kus in saigi will ye gi COVID nineteen she a a ya d i yese she doshi i yese nikidis adak at jo kwa do. The case will you have at all quite confirm it yada. A kunde and lady Maricopa County will you have day Phoenix will you have a year out of a flat flat that's it. Um, there was a case over there done it a coho da ya had d prevention will you have a year. I will be speaking on the individual homes for the prevention. So then I will have, we will have someone else be speaking to our individual members who, who will also be affected by this. So basically, I'm speaking to those individuals who are out there in Navajo Nation country, out at TNN, our listeners out there, and people who are, and our Diné people who are joining us out in all of the areas that the KTNN listening audience gathers. And so these are our, our, our urban uh, brothers and sisters out there, our students that are out there at the colleges and individuals that uh, choose to be away from the nation at this time. So one of the questions that we have and one of the items that we have is that let us be vigilant in regards to how we are keeping ourselves healthy. The president already informed us that keep in mind to to wash your hands and make sure that we are clean for the areas that we are touching and then also where we work, where we where we eat and so forth. And then also when we go to different areas in the public also, the areas there can be contaminated and we don't know that because some of the cases, for example, in Washington State we had someone who was diagnosed and actually had to be treated who was not in contact with anyone. And so it can come at any point. And so also keep in mind that when we're at work, at home, or out in public, making sure that we, we cover our coughs and we are covering our sneezes and that we, we do some of those protective uh, gestures that we make. We understand that there may be a lot of uh, maybe undo alarm at this point, so uh, individuals are buying um, masks and sanitizers and such. We're not discouraging those, but I think that if we use due diligence and all that, and all that then then we can protect ourselves and our family, And because that is what we are here for, to make sure that our families are protected. And then for those of us in the workforce, wherever that might be, is that to make sure that we are safe as well as that our colleagues and our co-workers are safe. Um, one of the, the areas that, that the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, and others have informed us is that, is that as long as we keep our hands away from our face and, and so that that is pretty much where the virus might be, be entering our our bodies and so just thought maybe we would be really vigilant in regards to keeping our our hands close to and not close to our heads and to, our, to our, our face and our mouths and our eyes and so on and then one of the other recommendations also is keeping yourself possibly at home if you're sick uh, obviously there are a lot of activities that are going to be happening in the area we support our sports teams we support our, our vendors who are out there and so forth, but we just want to keep veg, veg, excuse me, vid, vigilant with all of what we're doing. So, and then also we're really concerned with our, with our elders. We're concerned with our masanas, gichays, and kanale, all, all needs. We're really concerned about them. 
So at this time, we would put the word out there as to take care of them, yeah. Please help them and help them keep those um, recommendations that we'll be making today so that uh, we can take care of them and as well as taking care of our young, our young uh, babies and our young adults because those are the two areas that, that apparently this, this virus is, 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 you're vulnerable if you're very young or if you're an elder person. So keep that in mind. And so again, thank you on behalf of the judicial branch. Thank you for listening to today. And we will be informing the audience more as the days go by. Thank you. uh <laughs>
Ramona Antonez eight eight at East Bananish Yindalnishke a Ajibel has a Nashni Dodge or Stuit Enig it at his inky enich and not Dotsi. A care at Miss Tracy Shea ya topahanish ledo irqua nire bashish chin look at dinner dashache Nana irqua nire dashanella don late and as basade so a day ayes and asha. So I'd like to say thank you for having this forum and allowing the Navajo Epidemiology Center, who is housed under the Navajo Department of Health, to address this forum. On behalf of the Navajo Epidemiology Center, we'd like to welcome you, and we want to ask you the question and answer the question. That is, you might ask, what is epidemiology? Well, the work that we do is to look at the disease and the distribution among people. It's that study. So what we do is look at um, how we would verbalize this in Navajo in sharing our vision is to empower Diné people to reach Hojo through Nathni Nathka. That is epidemiology. With that, in our work, we would like to encourage you to send in your text messages to 871-4487. Um, to ask questions and we'd be glad to start answering those questions. There are two reasons that I'll be on this um, forum this evening. First of all, we would like to invite you to um, research the World Health Organization, which is a reliable resource, as well as the CDC. 
this is where we are actively monitoring on a daily day basis. And I want to share with you that these numbers that we will share with you are cases that are globally and then also nationally, nationally here in the United States and then here on the Navajo Nation. We want to assure the Navajo population and our constituents, our Chays, our Masana, and our children that we are actively watching these cases. So first of all, let's go back to the World Health Organization. Um, they are reporting globally that the coronavirus um, COVID-19 um, risk assessment is very high globally. And we are at approximately 96,000 confirmed cases globally. Then in China itself, um, the risk assessment is very high with approximately 80,000 cases that have been confirmed. Of that, we want to let you know that um, although there are cases, there are also people that are recovering from COVID-19. And I want to also share with you that we are understanding that there are about six, 76 countries that are now being affected by um, COVID-19. We want to bring you closer to home at the CDC's, um, uh, this is the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention here in the United States. As of March 5th, 2020, these are the total cases across the United States. We are at approximately 99 total confirmed cases. It's important that we share with you that these numbers continuously change and they become outdated quickly as numbers continue to be reported. Of that, um, CDC reports that there are 10 total fatalities, piece of people that have passed on from this um, COVID-19 here on the United States. And then we also want to share with you that we understand that there are 13 uh, states that are, have reported COVID-19, starting with um, Arizona, and that is a near, near nearby, uh, of course, the Navajo Nation expands into the state of Arizona. There's one confirmed case that we are understanding the CDC has reported. We also know that there's um, cases that are in California, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New, New York, um, North Carolina, Oregon, Washington State, Wisconsin, New Mexico here has zero confirmed cases. Utah has zero confirmed cases, and Colorado has zero confirmed cases. We want to also assure that the, the, the Navajo Nation um, con residents and our constituents that at this time there are zero confirmed cases here on the Navajo Nation. We want to assure you that we are looking at this and monitoring very vigilantly on a daily basis. With that, I want to also share with you that we have strong partnerships with the state health departments of Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah, and the counties, as well as the Navajo Area Indian Health Services and our tribal organizations, which we know as 638s. Each one of these facilities have a plan in place for a response and their readiness is there to respond and um, assist and protect, as well as be responsive to um, COVID-19. I also want to share as an epidemiologist the importance that we have a high number of persons that are affected by um, uh, the influenza that continues to be an illness that many of our people are confirmed with and then they struggle with that. Um, with that, I just wanted to share that as well as um, providing that information in terms of cases. And our role in this is, as epidemiologist, is to be appraised about the situation reports coming from the World Health Organization, the CDC, the Navajo Area IHS, and the states. So we want to let you know that we are actively monitoring I also want to share that um, emphasizing washing hands and how the spread may happen. I just want to plug in that um, 
when you think about where and what is frequently used out there, it could be the gas pump. <laughs> so remember to um, have hand sanitizer available when you're um, putting gas into your chitties, your vehicles, to ensure that that would be another mechanism of where you get back in your chitty and you might want to um, touch your, your mouth, nose, or eyes, something to that effect. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of places where there's other people touching not only um, the door handles, but um, keyboards and keeping your um, place disinfected as well as possible. With that, I want to share on behalf of the Navajo Epidemiology Center to please ask your questions. Um, I do want to share that the Navajo Department of Health does have a weekly briefing that we have out available for our community members um, and our partners that on Mondays at 8.30 to 9 o'clock, we do have uh, weekly briefings. That phone number is 506, excuse me, 605-313-413. 4812. The access code is 954811. And we have a weekly briefing. And what we mean by that is we'll sit, have a situation report on numbers and cases that are coming um, in around the world. And um, I want to emphasize that there are no cases here on the Navajo Nation. And we're watching out for the morbidity and mortality of um, various health diseases across Navajo Nation. With that, um, I also would like to share some information about the uh, child care program. Um, and what I was asked to do is to look at guidance for schools which do not have COVID-19 identified in their community. We are working with the schools locally, and they are part of the um, Navajo Nation COVID-19 preparedness team. And this is including BIE, BIA, and then the local schools. With that, uh, we encourage and recommend for schools to, um, because they play an important role to the populations of not only the students, but the teachers. They have a high level of um, participants in the uh, school population that um, they contribute and share information and review your plans locally and to involve your local health officials to pr help protect the school community, including special um, health needs that we are also aware of. Number uh, Another bullet is to have an emergency operations plan. Um, you might want to take a look at that and review and update for your schools. And also have preventive actions for students and staff which are staying home, um, such as staying home when they are feeling sick and properly covering their uh, coughs, their sneezes, cleaning frequently, um, frequently touched areas, surfaces, and washing their hands appropriately and um, often. Be sure that uh, both the students and staff are washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. We want to keep emphasizing the use of um, proper hand washing, uh, using hand sanitizers with at least 60% uh, alcohol if soap and water is not available. And keeping informed with your local health officials um, the Navajo Department of Health does have a website that we've stood up uh, yesterday with um, COVID-19 information that is available for prevention um, activities, as well as keeping, another is to keep uh, six students and staff separate from well students and well staff until they have um, an opportunity to be picked up and uh, checked out to go home. That would be another uh, recommendation that we have. And we want to emphasize that schools are not expected to screen students and staff um, to identify causes of COVID-19. Um, schools can also consult with the state and local health officials about uh, students who have traveled or plan to travel um, outside of the community. Um, in and around the Navajo Nation. At this time, on um, behalf of uh, the um, situation reports, please want to emphasize to 
um, visit these reliable sources. Again, emphasizing there are no cases here on the Navajo Nation, and we're working closely with the health officials across the healthcare system and public health systems to uh, monitor any cases that may come to our region. At this time, there are no cases. Ms. Tracy? The <laughs> Navajo Area Health Service. It's easy to get this. 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 It's Ado yon chi nze na betel ne he. E de ki a isi bahas ti. Oko na itish kitten zin go e ya kwa asa a number nha igi la. 605-313-4812. Access code e ya 954-811. A de nik eche e ya has tra namaz. Ashla tra asla tra di se bi asla na ke. Ado excess is linge e bej del chi o e aje. Njono go bej a has it si e e na has e asla di se bi asla asla na as dot e ya as chine da as tra agi. Jo e kwa e geto al chine jigo a isi ba has tke. Al chine do has tui saani na sa zli ingi. Bich e nta has tke e gi do e do hane tke da bide do lna. E ha jo o ba ba has tke e ni tzin do le. O ko di de de a na hni hn tsa e gi. Na has tke e tza da be bit e ji. Jo an khe ha jo o da hui li nyaot e njo no go. Be had a cahot eh? A cordi old hat eh? A chine a be? Jonogobble that had a kiss. Nabijin tino could out eh ya? Jonogo a bit that haliadolish. Ba old hat do a edo. A cordi de Navajo Nation Department of Health. It's easy get that is inky. Navajo Nation to go. A age a ehozenigi holo. Be ehozenigi. E kwa e 
number ni hi chit na ne yi chit. 8 a ya 871-4487. At sa hige a ya 928. Na na sha. 928-871-4487. A de nik eche a. Na hast a. Na ki. Se b. Se b. So s a. A sa a. D. D. Se b. So s a. A jok kwa di ilne na idil kit go. Na na shin kodo la ni cha na na tzik to le. Dr. Jill Jermin, she is an executive director in Shlonha at the Navajo Department of Health. She is a member the coronavirus in the the President Chief Justice Department of Health Indian Health Service Medical Center Health Centers to be seen, the Winslow, the Utah, that any crab, um, Britain did not get credit. Um, and I don't get the um, a other, um, hospital, Gishin credit, um, preparedness on the whole guinea credit, but at the deal, Nathy didn't cost in Swaggy, that didn't any other credit, Department of Health, it's East Baha Yah, yeah, had the a yeah, Belagon, like a J, it, um, they didn't hear mission, whole guinea, a a to ensure. That quality, comprehensive, and culturally relevant health care and public health services are provided on the Navajo Nation. A what on your mission, Holieto? A what a kaidi on Bahana de Zi kaidi on the Kosentage kaidi the Don Gehadlon da kaidi. It's a low coronavirus is low here on the Navajo Nation. Also, their risk has the potential to change. A bit lagon like at your what a bit that's the. Ramona Antonez, the County Health Department, the State Health Department, the Guinea Bethan Day Nisto, Adoquadi, also here at Non Nicodini, the Hadi, and the Quadi Department of Health Yon Dod Nishi. Although the non Quadi Quadi questions, the text of the Lagishi, Quadi Bitcher had the Stipulagon, like a shame said the Dishni Quadi. One credit question, EGA, since they don't know what the cause is, why hasn't the CDC consulted the medicine man? Is there any plans to do that and when and how? Adoti, under the Department of Health, with President Nez, a preparedness team, COVID 19, Holgeni, Kradi, Kwishin, departments, I don't deja, BIE, BIA, Dolgeni, Kradi, been dated in the shoddy, credit, um, yeah, 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 that's the credit traditional medicine man, Don Nini, a shay on the how she radio form, um, a double nick y'all go, coho a shay, by other deal, kitty, hate, ah, ajin, um, bah, nagy shay, a shant, a daddy, nick, a what are they question, um, answer a slaughter. Although the non next question A, what will the Navajo Nation, if there should be a case reported on the Navajo Nation quarantine measures, how the chapter governments are involved? Um, Adeya, we are still in the preparedness phase, so we don't have a case on the Navajo Nation. So, but I would end the preparedness phase. We are in communication with the chapter houses. Although the um, the website they need to get under the Department of Health a what at um ultra agido chapter house dot dot any do a the um ultra the da hit a the basketball tournament the other hot da a the what are the guidelines the recommend recommendations of a car a www dot in in d o h dot navajo dash n s n dot g o v Although the non question gee a non as a precaution is the Navajo Nation making plans to limit travel in Navajo 
by international and others to protect Navajo population. De, um, de, we don't have a case on the Navajo Nation, but um, on the Navajo Nation, on the executive branch, Jay Kwaiti, President Nez, he issued a travel advisory for our Navajo Nation employees. Um, Navajo Nation employees, Kwaiti, a travel advisory. I don't all cut she doors or that any BIA, do BIA that that any she on me, they might have their own travel restrictions, um, not restrictions, but advisories. I share what other, um, book a day, we don't have any plans to limit travel, um, for just the general public, only for the Navajo Nation of employees. It's not, um, it's just an advisory to be cautious. Although one other question, a non a one suggestion is to close the national monuments to keep businesses or global tourists away from the Navajo Nation. say we can't do any community spread on uh, there's no community spread, she we we don't have the need to close down any national monuments or in to keep clo um, global tourists away from the Nav uh, away from the Navajo Nation. What about the major events that our Diné people go to, like basketball and basketball games and Phoenix Gathering of Nations in Albuquerque? social distancing guideline at the flu season, no, the Jodo Jobe has in the Asian Ayo Best Egona, um, Asian Unhinged and Unhinged, um, Kadi, um, Danosongi. If you don't want to expose yourself, you reduce your risk by traveling and being in those events. Asian Unhinged, I guess it's up to you, the Deshnis, eh, what Abe had this regarding this text message question. So, um, all the listeners, thank you for listening. I just want to thank you for that. I want to appreciate all the partners that we are working with, with the local health departments, Indian Health Service, um, Toto Medical Center this evening, as well as KTNN. I just want to thank leadership, President Nez, as well as Chief Justice Jane for coming in and talking about a very um, important um, potential health um, threat to the Navajo Nation. And I just I uh, want to thank everyone again. Ikehe. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Rosalind So. I am the Area Director for the Navajo Area Indian Health Service. Uh, thank you for your time and appreciate your, uh, your listening to us tonight. Uh, I wanted to just share a few points uh, with you from the Navajo Area Indian Health Service and what we are doing to prepare for, for what might be yet to come. Uh, just to let you know that we have prepared all of our hospitals and clinics and they are making sure that we have all of the supplies and equipment is ready to go in case we need to uh, secure and secure and take care of patients. We are conducting drills on a daily basis, again, to make sure that we are working together and all of our, our providers and our staff, are they know what to do. Additionally, we are working very closely with the uh, President's Office and coordinating with the Navajo Department of Health. And so that's working very well and that, that is necessary for us to do that work. We have also translated some information from the Center for Disease and Control, CDC, into Navajo. So that's been posted on our IHS website and it's been posted uh, also on our Facebook. So we have that information available. We will have those by the end of the week. By the end of tomorrow, they will be posted in all of our IHS facilities. And, and this is an effort to make sure that we're communicating broadly with all of our, uh, for all of our patients. Another thing that we're doing is we're working very closely with Indian Health Service. 
we are making sure that uh, we're communicating with our colleagues to, uh, again, share information. We know that we have Navajo people throughout Navajo country or Indian country, and we wanna make sure that we're taking care and they have the information that we have. We are also um, make sh making sure that we're ready to receive patients uh, as, as these cases might come to Navajo country. We are ready for that, and we're monitoring all possible cases throughout Navajo area. We, are, we constantly share information, whether it's through the IHS website, the Navajo Area Indian Health Service website, or through the Department of Health and uh, Navajo Nation Department of Health. Yeah, the task is that I should say, "Kuto Indian Health Services, kuto not an in Lindy Roslin, so ya hati ki e tena kesi si e ya bahatis tetong il pahosen dole koko." Koto e han na eki ejo ata huis ago di zel in bislahas ato ahta al ingo jingo ahta al inigi bislahas anigi e acheta di tne habane kajo hata e han na ato inda di de ani hata hot ingo ko e kut e do le ka no shi e ako e ze eslinda lindo ze inde ka do ako e dal na shigi in Yitan Tao, a hut out that the Linta no e, da quitching a ya, Yita hot out, Abanan Shida Yosinda. Ado dito am a ze do, a ishin chedito, in Libe, a hat or Nishigito, Ben al Kahata, a Benta and Nishigi, a a so, a Danel e dog, a beta hose and ditch they don't in sort of needy, hut no e hane. Ado in that stot did a aqua. Navajo Nation government could not on it or beside in Nishiki, are doing the Navajo Department of Health. A eight are quitting a bit of the wheel net or bit in Dalish, so what are you about your net? Are doing that thought did it, um, did it at the neck at your Nikizadiki Bahan net or is 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 John Old Zeniki is got a not so stop a cow a. Benda Ashnisto, Ek at Hatadilia, a Pelagana Bazar, do because the teen total, yo hot bells and done the E hot out, Hanegi hot bells and dolita. Ado di da his ago, United States, Bacago, Bacagish Clegit, oh, how you got out, Keda hat, I don't hit the net in there, E sto ade, sto sla Keda hat, so eat our creature, E ad da inishi, Bishis Han netto, E hot out, E Bishendale Nesco at air. Ado did any quest at hot ego, a Bahato Nispin Yeko, a Cadebach at the neat eh, quest at Nahato Gato, Bahato Nisto, but Hayato Lesiki, a ek at Bach at the neat as your hot out a Bahajolne. Ado in the e a creature a ya, Haneki Bazon, a day kneels and door chedahit, a kiss chedahit out a ya, Bane Kay. Ado not so steed the Bacato. Uh, the internet had no website that had no a art, a art, a child kid on Hadalia, Kona, a dish kid, or a shelpenato, things, or a what a jolly go a hot air to Zinla. Consoco a adjet not animal has added what a hundred mitre a yilla. A share added a salt sangi ado, JJ ado, Katin N. A share could on her innocent way, the nebbish to the hit a gi by a hill. This is Dr. Jonathan Irlu from Gallup Indian Medical Center. I'm the Indian Health Service Chief Clinical Consultant for Infectious Disease. And I've been asked to talk to you a little bit about the COVID-19 or coronavirus disease of 2019. Here, Nihich Hanano Tsihige Eya, Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Eralu. Coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID 19 is a respiratory infection caused by a virus that originated in an outbreak in Wuhan, China, but has now spread to many countries all over the world. Yeah, 
Dr. Irlu A. Kodo, Anne A. D. COVID 19, the Kosin Sai 19, the Badi Ninigi A. Ya. So Hayologi A. Ya. Jo A. Ya. Not a journal A. Kodo Hatzi. Ado A. Ya. D. Nure. Um. Not as Uzbeke Yate. Ade A. Hut A. Hashni. A. Ya. Lay. Kaya. That Naz Ango. That they accord a. A trifle, to no aya, a hot aria hot sea. Covid nineteen has spread all around the world and now has shown up in the United States and has shown evidence for spreading person to person in some parts of the United States on the west and east coast. But there's no sign that this virus has come to the Navajo Nation at this time. Ado e na ne ti di e ya um kwe ashla ashla ti no kwe ke yan hi la sakadi ki di USA bit ni ni ki jo aje to kwe hot a pohon ne jo ne aro nda um ti e ya bila ashla e betran na ni jo hot a e pohon ne jo no e ya ade yan hi jo ha zi aro nda e ya on re you may be wondering how did COVID how does COVID nineteen spread? Well, it originally started from an animal source but now has been spreading from person to person. Usually you have to have very close contact with the person who's infected to catch that. And that means standing within six feet of them. And usually it appears to be spread by respiratory droplets when somebody coughs or sneezes on another person. It's, it is possible to catch it by touching a surface that has been contaminated with the virus but this doesn't seem to be the main way the virus is spread. The droplets in the air after a cough or sneeze are the important way. I don't know that ni la ti la e hit ao e ya um a tranas ni jo no e hit ao ya ha zi ko opa opa ho na e ta e ti e ya na to shi da zi bi zan de da no e hit ao ya da ho na ni la ko te en de ko te e ya ba ha na e e ya la shi Hundot <laughs> what are the symptoms of COVID-19? It turns out that about 80% of people who catch the virus have a mild course, a mild illness, somewhat similar to the common cold. So these folks would have three things. You can count on three fingers, fever, 
cough and shortness of breath. That's that's 80% or four out of five people. The other 20% have more serious infection, often during the second week of the illness, where the, the viral illness progresses, gets worse, and causes pneumonia in the lungs, causes some damage to organs, and sometimes people don't make it. We know that elders are at risk for worse disease, but children, the CDC tells us, are usually do not have this kind of severe disease. So the elders are, are, are a little bit more risk, and the children are at lower risk. Yeah, yeah, um, Cotty <laughs> How can you protect yourself? Well, there are things you can do to protect yourself from a respiratory virus like COVID-19, flu, or the common cold. You should avoid close contact with people who are sick. It's really important, and this was already mentioned on this call, don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth with unwashed hands. That's a way to catch the germ and spread it to yourself. And then lastly, it's really important to wash your hands with soap and water um, um, frequently, especially after you touch a contaminated surface and somebody mentioned a gas pump handle, a doorknob, that kind of thing. Be very careful with those. Wash hands and use alcohol-based sanitizer. It's, it's very important to wash frequently, especially during this season. If a, if a person is already sick, they can avoid spreading the illness by staying, staying home and not going out into to public places, covering their cough or sneeze with a tissue, and then cleaning infected surfaces that might be contaminated. Anana ado e na de ni na di e ya pe cha hat ni gi jo e e ya ka di e ya ko de i de kos sai na tin be de ni ni do a tis ni do gi do a de kos le ni gi jo ko ka ko na ha ji shon da ni ja jo jo ne a ro un de e sto the <laughs> Um, <laughs> Shed 
So you might wonder, is there a, a vaccine or a way to prevent the COVID-19 virus? At this time, there is no vaccine. It's not like the flu shot, which can be used to help prevent the flu. A, a vaccine for COVID-19 is something that will hopefully be in the near future, but it's not going to be there real soon. Is there a treatment at this time? There actually is no definite antiviral treatment for COVID-19 like we have for the flu. So at this time, there's no pill or treatment other than what we call supportive care to help relieve symptoms, help people get through the worst part of their illness so they can recover. So in summary, COVID-19 is a virus that can be spread from person to person, and you can protect yourself by being careful to avoid contact with people who are sick and wash your hands. Thank you. Ebinina Thank you, Dr. Erlu. If I can just have you um, stay on the line a little bit, uh, we're going to do a little bit of Q&A after um, Dr. Wong goes on, but I'd like to introduce Dr. Vivian Huang with IHS Nar Navajo Area Office. Um, for Dr. Wong, just take it away. Oh, good evening. Um, my name is Dr. Vivian Huang. I am at the uh, Navajo Area Indian Health Service. Uh, I currently serve as the Situation Awareness Lead and the Subject Matter Expert uh, on this uh, COVID-19 uh, epidemic. The COVID-19 um, epidemic is a serious condition and it is a rapidly expanding outbreak uh, worldwide and also now in the United States. The potential public health threat posed by COVID-19 is very high to the US and globally. At this time, however, most people in the United States will have little immediate risk of exposure to the virus. 
the question the nebul the nebul ash like with our unit in a koho kudo um uh kueya and he the nebul kaya aya ato kut a aya um the neb the nebul ash like with a ato kut aya banat in the koh kut aya ya halne. Uh, there has been a lot in the news about COVID nineteen, and currently in the U S. Uh, there are cases. Um, Many of the cases are coming from Washington State, uh, California State, and New York State. Uh, as of March 4th, uh, 2020, the U.S. has uh, 80 total cases. Uh, there have been nine deaths, and there have been 13 states reporting cases. Okay, uh, Dr. Wang, and now a Ashladin uh, Kaya has Ado Aya um, say B, say B. Say B, it's Ada. Say B, um, say B, Dean, could I Aya the Nen Lini, could I Aya Benastin, Ado and Lay Washington, Do Ado California, Ado New York, then. Could I aya um then uh Babalashla and Lingi could aya yenast in a coho ado um Nahast a aya could aya um be in that could aya but ando and the hast e COVID nineteen is an emerging and rapidly evolving situations. We will likely see more cases uh, in the coming days uh, in the United States. At this time, though, most people in the United States have little immediate risk of exposure uh, to this virus. This virus is not currently spreading widely in the United States. However, because we have seen many cases in California, in Washington, in New York, um, this information has raised the level of concern about this immediate threat for COVID-19 for certain communities in the United States. Okay, Dr. Wong, and now that no aya kudo um ashladin kaya has ando aya um ayohane kud a aya um kidne and linigi kud a aya um uh. Could I, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, 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 and that dog, Kato, that though that's a, um, yeah, yeah, um, be that not in no, could all, could all, yeah, yeah, had ne. Some of you out there may be wondering if there is a case in Navajo Nation. Currently, there are no cases in Navajo Nation. There have been no cases reported in New, New Mexico. There have been no cases reported in Colorado. There have been no cases reported in Utah. Currently now, there has been two confirmed cases reported in Maricopa County, Arizona. And both of those cases have uh, shown mild disease. Adok, D, the cost A. Nas eights out the Hilinigi, a young Kuayan can hit the Nab, be Kay up a car, a auto could a yard like the Belash like a good a bent in the Hand the Ku a host of Hazodo, a young Naki, a yard could a Belash like in Linigi, could a yard bent in. Currently, now in Arizona, there is no community spread of uh, COVID 19. Uh, currently in New Mexico, there is no community spread of COVID-19. Uh, currently in Utah, there is no com uh, community spread of COVID-19. And in Colorado, currently there is no community spread of COVID-19.
But no, I, uh, I uh, think um, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, do Colorado, a um, ato kuta ya dene dene abalash la ekuta ya ato hita dineta. I'd like to cover some other points that um, the other um, call, um, speakers have not covered. Uh, one of the things is, um, should you be worried about COVID-19? And certainly, uh, there's been a lot in the news and media about COVID-19. However, we do know that this illness is usually generally very mild, especially for children and healthy young adults. However, uh, we know that this disease can actually cause serious illness uh, in about one in five people. Um, and we do know that um, with COVID-19, for those persons who are elderly and those persons with underlying medical conditions, such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancer, uh, may have more serious uh, complications from this disease. And a do a yorbeth now linda. Halle a yan lay, um, has tweed or sunny than linigi, a ya could a yabeth now linne. A do, um, hey da da, hey da da da, uh, bits east, bitch in the hoti or da, a thought could a yabeth now linne. And though, uh, you should be worried about COVID 19 because there's been a lot in the media about COVID 19, um, it is quite normal for people to worry about this uh, outbreak right now as um, they are concerned if it will affect uh, themselves and their loved ones. However, um, we are asking everybody uh, to channel their con uh, concerns into actions to protect themselves, uh, their loved ones, and their communities. Uh, first and foremost among these actions is regular and thorough hand washing at least for 20 seconds um, and have good respiratory hygiene. Secondly, uh, keep informed and follow the advice of your local health authorities, including any restrictions put in place on travel, movement, and gatherings. The the cousin Sagi, but I um um they start do in the da um could I uh um I do let uh the um but that will negi could I uh you get um you get um and I will say a coho uh the um the cousin Sagi they negi a ya I do in the da could do um. But the whole negi aya, a yes, a gay aya, and a here, and a here at the other hosia, Johnny, a dog could do but but the whole ne aya, a an an go, um, Nihila Tada kiss, a do lay towel, tall, tall, tall wash door into the tobe, a good hour aya, um, Nadine's here, teeth go ye can sucky. A could our be ratchet, could uncle that hard dark is Johnny, could a could our a yego, um, a yego, um, uh, you not in skin, could all, our door in the da, um, could our a ya, and a here, the nanny linigi, door in the double care that wait inigi, a could our a ya, um, but I hit Egypt, could our a ya, um, um, Bendale Nish. I think there also has been a lot of concern about uh, face masks and should people in the community be wearing face masks. Uh, there's also been a lot in the news about shortages of face masks globally. Um, currently, the CDC um, is not recommending that people that are healthy or well uh, wear a face mask to protect themselves um, from respiratory diseases, including COVID-19. Um, face masks should be really used for people who show symptoms of COVID-19 um, to help prevent the spread of the disease to others. Um, the use of face masks is also crucial for health workers and people who are taking care of someone in close settings. Um, so please be cognizant of um, using face masks um, for the general public. Um, we need these face masks to help protect our healthcare workers so that they can um, best take care of patients that may come in with suspected um, COVID. 
Adotinad no e yanle e chinton de da ezeta da del pasliki um ado chodanos in to get to hait a de dan get trahones gago in de hay de da kut ao be trahones gago e ya kut ao um um dan da del pasliki le e chinto ezet dan da del pasliki kut ao e ya chitas in hala e ya a ni kut ao um kwe um git nikis in kaya kus angi um nsni go e ya in le ezet ini dan linigi uh kut ao da yisin da nishiki e e e meet the a yisigi e meet the uh um e e chi de dos in dan Many of you out there probably are concerned about should I get tested for COVID-19. Um, certainly if you are feeling sick, uh, please do stay home, uh, but call your healthcare professional if you feel sick with fever, cough, or shortness of breath, or have been in close contact with a person known to have COVID-19, or if you live in or have recently traveled from an area with ongoing spread of COVID-19. Ado not no a ya could do um um hate out the da netrahones gegota um ne uh as they in and linigi except um beige be be who deal ne a call good out a ya I'll be uh beige be net beige be her net be it though um um kudini the de could out um kudini and snow the yen had out see Ado in the da um um hait ado da na trahones gago da aho wada sinta ado haslangi na kre jokut aya in kishne. And lastly, I'll just go over um, some of you out there might be wondering what is the CDC and IHS um, doing to prepare uh, for possible impacts for COVID 19 outbreak. Uh, currently, the CDC is closely monitoring this COVID-19 outbreak, not only uh, here in the U.S., but also globally. Um, the number um, of uh, cases are increasing in the U.S., and CDC is working hard uh, to try to contain the virus. Um, the Indian Health Service is also keeping a very uh, close eye on COVID-19 um, uh, outbreak. Um, currently, uh, within the Navajo uh, area Indian Health Service, uh, the hospitals and clinics are getting ready um, should we see a case of COVID-19 here in Navajo area. We are training up our staff. Uh, we are providing videos and uh, training um, with donning and doffing of uh, personal protective equipment. Um, we are making sure uh, that we have uh, the personal uh, protective equipment available um, in all of our hospitals. Um, and we are doing drills um, just um, in case we see a suspected case coming through a Navajo area. Uh, so please be assured that um, CDC and uh, Indian Health Service are working hard uh, to protect the people here in uh, Navajo Nation. <laughs> A ya and lay centers for disease control the clinigi ado in the da an hin hidden air at easy get the days e gikut a ya um you get the days e do in the da a huije a ya as on not need kunde ado bahane o a ya um uh kut a ya a kuije ku a ya um yan dat a ko a kut a kut a Uh, for Dr. Erlu and Dr. Huang, and uh, I want to thank everybody for texting in their questions. We have a lot, unfortunately, for um, the sake of, sake of time. I'm going to only pick a few, and then I'm ha I still need, we still need to have a TM Seattle Medical Center come on, as, as well as Mr. David Nez. And so after we finish these questions, I'll hand it over to David Nez. Um, Dr. Wong, just real quick, um, does the IHS have test kits available from the CDC, and how are they testing right now? So uh, the Indian Health Service um, has the ability uh, to test if there is a suspected COVID um, case that comes through Navajo Area Indian Health Service. 
So the doctors uh, and the clinicians that are in the hospitals and clinics, if they suspect a COVID-19 case, will be able to collect the specimens. Now, all the specimens um, of a suspected case has to, at this point, uh, be sent to uh, state labs for it to be tested. Uh, we are um, hoping um, that we will get some commercial tests available soon, and CDC and FDA is working hard on that right now. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, Dr. Erlu, this question is for you. How long do you predict this virus will be in effect? Very good. That's a very good question. So we know from other viruses, like influenza virus and the common cold viruses, that they are transmitted best during the winter when the air is cold and dry um, from sort of like dehumidification of the air. And so that when the weather warms up and there's, there are rains and whatnot, um, the viral transmission is less. And so it's, it's possible that um, when the weather changes in the, in the northern hemisphere, we'll see, we'll see less trouble with the virus. We would, we would hope that. That being said, during the summer months, viruses often, when they, when they become pandemic or they, they spread like influenza outbreaks that have happened in the past, the virus can spread to the southern hemisphere during the winter and then bounce back in the north later on. So it's, it's very unpredictable. So it's really hard to say exactly how long this, this will last. With the last two coronavirus outbreaks, they did not last that long. These were the, the original SARS outbreak and the MERS. They were localized. They did not go pandemic. But it's really hard to predict what's going to happen over the next year. Yeah, um, Dinachnihi, <laughs> Dosinted 
Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, everybody, for um, texting your questions. Unfortunately, for the sake of time, we cannot answer all of them. But what we will do, um, TSO Medical Center Marketing, we'll actually take all of the all of the um, questions that were texted in, and we'll answer them and put them on a video and post them on our Facebook page. Our Facebook page is www.facebook.com slash TSO. Um, you can also just um, search in Facebook TMC. We'll also try to get that onto other platforms as well. So if your question wasn't answered tonight, um, we'll try to answer them in the video, and hopefully that will be posted within the following week. But right now, I want to hand it over to Mr. David Nez. Yeah, David Nez. She is neighborhood department of health, public health emergency manager. Aquategoation Ako Kodobasha Public health, or you see, he did in Arden Keda Hot in the um, not Nisha, Dini Trantaque, Joko, eh, Kododi, Kodonal sauce, Aaron and Tin. A Kodat, eh, Gishi, Kodobich, and Hodel, Ingo, Eshe, Adini Trate, Kratoli, Aro, Hagishi, Hol, Jisho, Jadani, Koden, the Shinegi, Benache, a Shahoden Negi, Sada Hot Ego, Yah, O Yago. Situation <laughs> Had 
Aaron he Washington be yaju chapter be the ninigid o ayigo nezati no an ez nabet hatahuisso Aaron an nista Aaron stuido sani ba da ayya stuido sani da ayya do tago ayya ha ha gishi ya anda ka ko ena ha da ayya jo kuda ayigo ayigo kete oni hatah ni hel hatahuisso ako aidan sago be na az ago ha leit a le ayya aiti Kodoba da huil neki to kodobe in that neat hinigi, deni to lace a cojo, even not a bechanata. A deal in cordi, cordio codoya da haline, a cordo large at seas. Um, a vaccine, but the nenegi prevention, but the yehagi jo a part then hun. I don't later and he instead. A ya hat ye ze she in hard old nature, a dot a slap on hat then. Could <laughs> Uh, emergency preparedness hat nenegi a ko negated an ni bitch ni hit all the ado ye go what the hell bitch and hit all the ado e kodo e a ni be bash che ni te do li a ko kut e go e ya e ni hit has a ado ni hit ni hit ni hit be has a ni da da hadlong kodo na sui do li li gi jo washin do na li ni so ha yu do da da na do sa ni do ha yi kuda te gi ya hun nizan ko ho e shi Ishi bitch is ado, this ado, and the rezel ede, that I neggy dog could take up his nail in the stole. A co hen added a sin of saggy. Thank you very much. So, up next on our agenda, we have Tsetso Medical Center. Um, we have a panel, um, including myself. Uh, my name is Dallas Ellsworth. I am the Director of Marketing. Um, last Thursday, Tissa Medical um, activated their Incident Command System, and I am the Communications Director, and I'm joined here with our CEO, CEO Dr. Aaron Tino, um, Katie Barron, who is our Mobile um, Unit Manager, and also um, is the Incident Commander. Um, so, can you guys go ahead and just quickly introduce yourself? Good evening. My name is Dr. Sandy Aratino. I'm the CEO for Fort Defiance Indian Hospital Board, um, and I am joined by Katie Barron. Good evening. My name is Katie Barron. I'm an infectious disease nurse practitioner, and I joined uh, Sohutso Medical Center in July. I'm the program manager for the mobile health program um, and have been asked to become the incident commander for our incident um, commander system. Sehoto Medical Center and the entire Fort Defiance Indian Hospital Board organization has stood up ICS, as Dallas said, about a week ago. Um, we've been meeting daily to update our team members. And as it's been said before, this is a very rapidly changing situation. Um, every day there are, there's new information, updates from the World Health Organization and from the CDC. So it's very important that we meet daily to share this information with our team. Starting tomorrow, we're going to have some changes in the way that we screen patients as they're coming into the hospital, and I'm going to have Katie elaborate uh, on those details. So starting tomorrow, we're going to have um, modified entrances. So on the east and west side, those will now be our new entrances, um, and the other entrances will be um, closed. Um, the front entrance, um, you'll be met by um, nurses um, and they will ask you a few questions and then direct you either to your appointment um, or towards the emergency room if you're suffering from any um, cold-like symptoms. So if you are suffering from cold-like symptoms, we recommend that you still come and see us. Um, we're happy to see you and you can come to our emergency room and you'll get um, good care. Yeah, Quite an each house, see adult deho cedar, deho cedar, Grace Tracy Inchke. Quite a zail in a trahnash, so, but has under 
Kodo en hinat ani, erantino ni chahazi, ado zeil ene dan lenigi do kishin kwa ikre. Kodo na idikit ado be ehozenigi, e de kodon hil ishan na da itla. Kodon le zeil ene de tsehozo ni hil yeho yago. Le ha a do shada a de yaha teen, e n ha a at edolish. Ado sato. Has Anigia eta that they'll call the list. The appointment that Zail in a Bainia Goda, E. Ade Quetta Zail in a Nado Gulch at Higi, E. Ado Hagoshi Denel Inigo Consto Ash Ado Tsinso with Nel Inigi, E. R. the Bede Ninigi, E. Sto, E. Ad Anti Benda and Nish Anti Nanish Edel Indolish. Oko del Kosoda, don't tra and trahones gegota, a earge, skin hot nel inigi, a age and the bay hot e, a hot aunt hitch on. We'd also like to reiterate the point that was made earlier in terms of of using masks from the hospital. Um, we won't be handing those out at the facility. We want to save those for our frontline emergency room staff. It's very important that those folks have the ability to protect themselves if there are any patients with flu-like symptoms or with COVID-19. Jo e de e kwa e zeil inen da ni shi ge e e gisi ba do le. Jo e in ha ha le ho e ba ba has ke ista na na. Ako e de ge a do men la i do ske de. Ni de tra ne ske go an ni ye go del koso hut a do e sa na do hut a ni ke ne. So our incident command team is been has been meeting daily. We have a morning uh, briefing. Um, and we've been meeting for about a week. And in this meeting, um, we discuss what's going on um, around the country and then what is going around here in Arizona and New Mexico. We discuss how we're prepared at the hospital and what systems um, and plans and clinical situations that we need to prepare for in the event um, that someone um, becomes ill with coronavirus. We are prepared to see them at the hospital and provide um, Full care. Quite a yard, so it's a zeal in a bit has undo. Zeal in a ski a which in a halego. Yan yin da ha did a jody the cuspan date in a gay. A co a ita his bed the husband don ha ha jo and the wheat ow, quit your whole jish. Quite a sadamo ye da e ada ha hol jij. A co anig hotzago e quae bashed at Nilsen Hishne. We also want to make the point that has been made earlier, but we can't say it enough times. It's very important to wash your hands to protect yourselves, don't touch your face. Um, if you shake hands with somebody, it's very important to wash your hands right afterwards. Um, that is going to be the thing that helps you prevent, your, prevent yourself from getting sick. Has I again laid that late? Ade Ado yo nene, but like a little nehene. O call on he. On he need a good a yard that will yaw sato. Better that will yaw what are it all. Need trato snetta. Nan kissne. Thank you, Grace. Uh, there's a there's a couple or a few things that we we want to touch on real really quickly one is um, one of the questions that came in is what how is the word going to get out to the community I think up to 
um, this point, you can correct me, or you can kind of chime in anytime, Katie, is that the last few days since Thursday, as a, as a facility, we've been really trying to create a structure to where we can feel comfortable um, for patients to come. And, and we feel like we're, we're at that point. We had an um, employee form this morning, and it was, I, I felt really good afterwards because everybody was on board. Everybody knew the severity of it. Um, but the big thing there is we kind of um, eliminate, like, talk to you about the fear surrounding this. Um, now we're going to start thinking about how do we get the word out to our community. Um, and we're going to use our website, fdhb.org. We're going to use our Facebook page. We're going to use um, Instagram. So if you um, aren't aware of our, of our Facebook or Instagram or um, website, please follow those. Um, we are directing people towards the CDC. There are some couple questions about um, what do we do as a school or as a workplace. The CDC has put information out. Um, they actually provide some guidelines on um, best practices. So I would encourage you to do that. Um, I'll actually just go ahead and post that to our Facebook um, um, feed um, after this so that you can actually just go in and find that. And, and we'll be doing a lot of that stuff as we kind of hear from the community. We'll, we'll try to vet the best information and put that information out because I think right now there's a lot of information and for the majority of it, it, it creates more fear than um, uh, confidence. So. Kodoya had Zigit Aya Halit all. A corner has an uncle and his behos and dollish. He has ne. A cod Aya did at Facebook, but the Ninigi Besh, 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 Illidish Nisha. Besh up in sick case again, sick case of that artist. A de A Abbey Yitcher in Ha Mahat a cardinal eat on it. According <laughs> And kind of just to add on to that, we definitely want to work with our um, partners within our service areas, down to the chapters, to um, the schools, the pre the preschools, um, the Head Start, um, the senior centers. Um, we're gonna we're, you know, this isn't just a, uh, a a clinical hospital theme, but we also have our wellness center. We also have Nahatazil down in Sanders, we, we're going to work with PHN, our HPDD program. Um, so you can kind of be um, looking for that information to start being rolled out, um, I would say, as early as next week. And now that ハジオペハデイツヒトレスアンヘコトゼイエンエニクレネギハラツイスペナアンニシチョエエンヒンヒナアンニシヒナアンニシエデイニルズンレイサンダハトレホンレイコチェアズアウェルネスセンターベディネ
Nana Slatego ate at El Caldo Lake, Benina Nigit Ejajo, did at the Nasco Nas Nigi, Abbots on. It's on her date, Edolish, Abbots on. It's on Nakrina Halinko, Nika de Lois, Joe Hot Aye Hanana Tsi. So, Katie, um, just to kind of give a little bit of a uh, um, a little more detail. So let's say if I have an appointment and I walk in and I'm and I have a cough and I have you know and I've had a cough for a while and I go to that front desk. What what am I, what am I gonna what's gonna happen? So when you enter the hospital through the main entrance, you will be met by a nurse um, and she will ask you a few questions. Um, probably what is uh, your reason for your visit today? And if you are not ill, she'll probably direct you to uh, the next screening um, area where they'll ask you three specific questions related to coronavirus. And then if everything um, is negative, uh, they will direct you to um, your uh, place of appointment. They will also give you a green sheet. So you'll ex be expected to bring that green sheet to uh, your place of appointment. If you are having a cold um, or having cough, fever, um, difficulty breathing, they'll ask that you put on a mask um, to contain um, any sort of droplets, and then you'll be brought to the emergency room where you'll be brought to a room um, and seen by the emergency department, nurses and doctors, um, and you'll likely, um, more questions will be asked, and then depending on your risk and depending on your travel, you may or may not be tested for coronavirus uh, with a swab. Um, but that swab, as was described earlier, will be sent to Phoenix, um, so it will take some time for results. Um, so if you meet case definition, meaning you have had contact with someone who um, has had coronavirus or you have traveled to an area that has, um, has had many infections of coronavirus, either internationally or here within the United States, you may be asked to stay until we get that result. Um, Di corona e del kit discorso nihil yahia gusha anle ha a teja tingi yahia ela e hit au hajigodi shas no na e del kit a cord a quiet zail in a sat nado gash had ila benia that it carnes gashing the donish a cord. Ah, and need the cos named oh, Yahiniago. Yego, it's easy to named Edo. Edo dodge, eh, that's Zico. A a cot's he lord, nell any argo. Dinah, jo a emergency was eaten a added. A digay a yan zeg on the eh, but a swap the snake ajo a hazeg on the eh, that e. Oko ani ndod na o jog di de da be kosin sa nineteen da shi da be di ne e de ani positive go jo ani na go e e ya le was dogo e abset od ni e a de na di kato li sa jo e a de le zel ni shi di chen na do ne chen da han na ho shi mut a be hozin do le. So Katie, uh, what does this mean for patients who have an appointment and for patients who are coming to pick up medication? So um, everyone, regardless of what your um, visit is for, will need to be screened. And the reasoning is we want to make sure um, that everyone is safe and that if you are suffering from any symptoms of flu-like illness or cold, that you get the care that you need and that we make sure that you do not have the virus. Um, but if you have an appointment and you're feeling well, all you'll need to do is answer a few questions, uh, receive a green piece of paper that you'll present at your appointment, whether that's at the pharmacy, 
um, at the primary care clinic, at the dental clinic. Um, if you don't have the green sheet piece of paper, um, they will ask that you go back to the screening table and, and acquire one. Yeah, ne So it's not that Nan <laughs> Jobben <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Um, we are just about out of time, um, but before we go, uh, we just want to, um, again, say for everybody to, to be calm. Um, still come to us if you are sick. Just be prepared for uh, a little different visit than you're used to. And uh, we want everybody to be confident that we have a team of people working really hard um, not just on um, where the status is right now, but also looking ahead if this thing starts coming a little bit closer to home. Uh, we've been pretty fortunate um, here in our area that nothing like this has really come about, um, but that does, we cannot com become complacent um, on that, and, that, and that's, what the, that's the posture of the hospital. Uh, so right now I wanna hand it back over to Dr. Um, Jill Jim to close us out. Well, thank you. Um, good evening, everyone, again. I think I just um, want to reiterate that I hope everyone learned a lot of information. We received lots of text messages regarding the coronavirus update and what the Navajo Nation is doing, what Indian Health Service is um, doing, as well as the tribal health organizations, as well as all the other areas that we need to still find ways to prevent um, the coronavirus from spreading. It is threatening our public health here on the Navajo Nation. Uh, I just want to reiterate that um, I'm once again the executive director for the Navajo Department of Health again, just to give the message to everyone. And as President mentioned earlier, President Nez and Ch Chief Justice Jane was here, mainly emphasizing back on prevention. I think it's very important that we look at some terminology around spatial distancing that we call um, just being aware of others that are sick, um, also around being around elders. Just make sure that when you're around elders that we really want to care for them and make sure that they don't get sick, not only just for the flu that we're talking about or pneumonia, any kind of sickness um, as a, being a responsible grandchild or a child, or a, any kind of extended family member, just make sure that you um, take those preventive measures, even um, talking with your kids and maybe your kids' friends, your neighbors about proper hand cleaning. And now that we're talking about prevention, it's not only um, your own prevention with your hand washing, but it's really a, your surrounding now. Um, as now that a lot of the prevention messages are around um, businesses like casinos that we have here on the Navajo Nation, just being aware that those do, you have to be really, really care, for your, um, care for your own safety. There are school buses, there's transit questions that we receive, even going out into the public to basketball games, to um, any kind of events that are hosted in the community. I just think that we need to have individuals now become more responsible just for taking on those um, precautions. So we do have the Navajo Department of website that is 
the central location for a lot of the materials that we're talking about from CDC. And so once again, I just want to re reiterate, we do have an email, which is corona, C-O-R-O-N-A, um, virus at V-I-R-U-S um, dot I-N-F-O info at um, N-N-D-O-H dot O-R-G. And also visit the webpage if you have any questions, um, as well at www ndoh.navajo-nsn.gov and you can also call the Department of Health at 928-871-6350 and I just want to close out thanking everyone um, and the listeners this evening so uh, um, Executive Director in Sunday Navajo Department of Health KTNN, Window Rock, Standing Rock.